Is Danielle Smith having to step in to help Calgarians once again? She pulls up her socks and tells everybody she's not on board with the plans going on in municipal ridings. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Fringe. If you joined us on the channel last week, we talked a lot about uh, Tucker Carlson's visit to Alberta and what that meant on the political stage. Of course, we've seen guys like Stephen Guibault um, flabbergasted and playing the victim card as to, oh, Tucker Carlson said bad things about me. How dare Danielle Smith keep that kind of company? Uh, I might remind the Liberals that they invited Hillary Clinton to speak with Christia Freeland <laughs> not too long ago. And I don't know if people are aware of this, but her, uh, her husband and uh, also herself were mentioned on multiple lists, uh, which might imply that uh, they are in fact PDF files. Uh, Bill Clinton may be in fact a PDF file. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's a very large PDF file at this point. And Hillary Clinton uh, could also be a PDF file. Uh, of course, we'll have to see what that all gets moved to as we uh, <laughs> head forward. Uh, you got to find creative ways to get around the censors, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but Danielle Smith, of course, being heavily scrutinized for the company she keeps when it comes to inviting Tucker Carlson. I might also uh, remind people that Danielle Smith did not invite Tucker Carlson. In fact, it was the opposite. Tucker Carlson invited Danielle Smith to sit down and discuss Alberta's future, uh, her stance on the criminal, um, I guess you could call them bills and, and regulations that the federal government has put against us, which have also been ruled as unconstitutional, yet they're continuing their ever, ever, ever increasing grasp on, on the province by appealing and going back against every decision that's been turned in their favor. Again, I'll remind everybody that every time the government wants to appeal these decisions, of course, they don't mind doing those things because it comes out of our pockets. But Danielle Smith now having to step in in Calgary. Again, if you watched the channel last week, I talked a lot about failed woke mayor Jody Gondek and her destructive single-use items bylaw in Calgary. Now, what is the single-use items bylaw? Well, it's it's bonkers. Most people in provinces have already dealt with the fact that when you go to shopping stores, if you go to like a grocery store, they want you to bring your own bags. They want you to bring your own containers to take your groceries home in. They've stopped using plastic bags. Um, I've already got my opinions about that. I really don't think it makes a difference. However, I've never had an issue taking my own uh, bags. In fact, we usually take a foldable uh, crate with us to get our groceries because, well, it just makes it easier to bring the groceries into the house. Uh, rather than, you know, bags pulling at your fingers. Now, what Jody Gondek has put into town is a bylaw that states that if you go to a drive through window now, any bag, any box, any napkin, any stir stick, any utensil uh, must be requested and, of course, paid for because it's a single use. What's scary about this is what's next? Toilet paper is single use. Every time you tear off a, a ticket, so to speak... That's a single use. Anytime you're using cups that your beverages come in, it's single use. So for example, if you go to McDonald's, you say to your kids, we're going to go out and we're going to, we're going to splurge a little today. You go to a place like McDonald's. Well, they say, oh, you're buying a happy meal. Would you like a box with your happy meal? You're getting a, a combo, like a like burger and fries. Would you like a bag for that? Of course you need a bag. That's part of the deal. Those costs have already been put on the franchisee to supply those as a basic included additive to what you're purchasing. You're buying a drink, would you like a straw? Those cups that your drinks are coming in are single use. So what's next? Are we going to start pouring liquids in our hands and saying, oh, just drink it here in the drive-thru because you don't want to pay 15 cents for a cup? This is nothing more than nickel and diming in order to encourage people to stop supporting business. This is about control. It was the same thing when they talked about two weeks to flatten the curve. Uh, of course, Jody Gondek immediately calling some sort of climate emergency by the second she entered City Hall and had the jurisdiction to do so. Of course, I've mentioned multiple times in my run to be Calgary mayor that when I take that seat, 
I will be getting rid of this bylaw immediately if Danielle Smith hasn't crushed it already, uh, as well as a plethora of other things that Jody Gondek has brought in with Trudeau-style politics into Calgary. But of course, Danielle Smith is now stepping in because many people have weighed in and said, we're not doing this. This is enough is enough. This is going to kill business. This is going to, with inflation and the carbon tax and everything else, going out is a luxury now. Whether you go to a drive through a restaurant, a movie theater, anywhere, it is now a luxury. Daniel Smith, of course, tweeting out, do you support the single-use items bylaw in Calgary and Edmonton that force consumers to use paper straws and request napkins with their meals? It's not just request, you are charged. No, I don't agree with it. Let's do that live. So here we go. There's 15,488 votes, 21 hours left at the time of filming this video. And the no's have it at 88.4%. Of course, 11%, which are probably the younger crowd hanging out in Edmonton with woke Mayor Sohi um, talking about this. But if you remember last summer, Danielle Smith had to step in in Calgary because of the overflowing levels of crime that are increasing in Calgary and people's safety being threatened that now we have to take a look at, well, does she have to step in again to tell the mayor, we're going to take away your rights to not your rights, but your ability to put in such fascist bylaws, especially after the Supreme court or the federal court has ruled that the plastics ban was unconstitutional. I might remind people, but of course, when we go back to Danielle's sit down with Tucker Carlson, Let's take a full look at, at her tweet here. I believe Alberta technology and innovation will allow us to double our oil and gas production and become carbon neutral by 2050. Let's show the world that we can beat energy poverty, food poverty, and emissions all at the same time. I'm betting our amazing province will get this done. Of course we will. Alberta, of course, always answering the call. Um, this is what she stated during her show in Edmonton with Tucker, that we plan to double our output, that the, the federal government isn't going to stop us from farming our resources. Of course, we've got the, the comment section, doubling Alberta's oil and gas production is a great plan. However, CO2 is beneficial and essential trace gas, therefore becoming carbon neutral by 2050 will be expensive and have no benefit. The anti-CO2 narrative is built on a completely fraudulent premise. Of course it is. Carbon neutral is an ignorant, foolish, eco-Marxist lie. Yes, increase production, dump the carbon neutral. It's embarrassing. So again, lots of people that get it. A lot of people that understand how it works. I'll just leave this here for Snowflake's having a meltdown over Tucker Carlson. Don't cry, little Snowflake. Here's your binky. CO2 is not a pollutant. We already are carbon neutral. Axe the tax already too. Of course, Canada has 90 or 594.7 billion trees. Canada produces 559 megatons of CO2 to capture all of Canada's CO2. It takes 25.7 billion trees. So we have, what? What is, what is that? 20, almost 25 times the amount of trees that we need to capture all of the CO2. Of course, we've got the boreal forest outlined here. This is where it gets silly. This is where people should really be questioning the government on, oh, we just want a safe environment for all of you. We know what's best for you. Trust us. Trust our science. Not real science. Trust our science. Of course, here we go with an article that the Calgary Herald covered with why not Smith Eyes doubling Alberta oil and gas production in an uncertain energy world. Premier Danielle Smith says she wants to see Alberta double down on oil and gas production. It's a snappy quote as it sounds like the province is sitting at a blackjack table looking to bolster its bets. What would that mean in a province that is already the main source of oil and gas in the country? And Canada, the fourth largest oil producer and fifth biggest gas producer on the planet. In a world focused on decarbonizing emissions to tackle climate change, again another myth, uh, is there even an appetite for Alberta to turbo boost its output? America has become the largest producer of oil and gas for export, while all the politicians have said they're going in the opposite direction, Smith told Tucker Carlson in Calgary on Wednesday. I think we should just double down and decide we're going to double our oil and gas production because truly, where does America want to get its oil from? Since 2008, North American oil and gas production has more than doubled with the U.S. and Canada, rapidly increasing their combined output by more than 20 million barrels of oil equivalent per day. 
according to a recent report by S&P Global Insights. In Alberta, production has risen sharply over the past two decades, powered by the oil sands, and in November, oil output in the province set a new record, topping 4.1 million barrels. Canada is by far the largest foreign oil supplier to the U.S., sending 3.8 million barrels per day uh, south in October, easily eclipsing uh, second place, which is Mexico. Now, Danielle Smith again showing she's got a set of cojones, certainly bigger than Stephen Gibbos or or uh, Justine's or Captain Fancy Socks. Now, she made a very bold statement during Tucker saying, where do we want to be getting our oil from, Iran, uh, when we have it here? The United States right now is getting a hell of a deal when it comes to the cost of oil. They buy it from us and sell it back to us for a massive profit. When we could, in fact, be getting our own resources, we're one of the most rich resource-filled countries when it comes to the paper industry, when it comes to oil and gas, when it comes to um, crop production. Like, we just have so many benefits in Canada that we aren't exercising because globalist Marxism is taking over in Canada. Um, I welcome what Danielle Smith is doing. I fully support her. Again, I've said since the days of Ralph Klein, I've never felt like my vote has gone so far to support a politician who's actually thinking about doing the right thing. I know a lot of people in my comments often say they wish Danielle Smith would run for prime minister, that she'd come to other provinces and do the same work. This is what people need. And that's exactly why I'm running for mayor of Calgary, because that's what the people in this city need, is somebody who's willing to say, no more of this, no more nonsense. We're going to spend uh, accordingly, we're going to manage our budget, and we're not going to just push taxes onto people for the sake of living a rich and luxurious lifestyle. That's not what your job as a politician is to do. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you think Danielle's making the right call? Do you think we're going to see more pushback from the federal government? I sure hope so, because boy, I'm enjoying watching this fight. If it's your first time here, uh, I hope this video has earned your subscription. Make sure as you're clicking that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications and join us live here on the channel every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time where we do our weekly wrap. However, this Saturday, we will be doing our stream instead with a special live stream with special guest Tamara Leach coming to talk to us about, well, pretty much whatever she wants. And I look forward to having my dear friend join us here in the studio and chatting with each and every one of you. I hope you join us out for that stream. It's going to be great. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you there again this upcoming Saturday, February 2nd at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you on the next one.